Hi, this is Ian McFarlane. This brief tutorial will walk you through getting a Word document formatted correctly for APA style. So I have my Word document open. Uh, this happens to be Word 2010, although the process is very similar um, for all recent editions of Microsoft Word. So I've got all the factory direct um, default settings. I haven't changed anything yet. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do, though, is change my font. Right now it is Calibri with a, an 11 point size. Um, so I'm just going to highlight the cursor, change this to 12 point font, and change the style to Times New Roman. Um, APA lists Times New Roman in 12 as the preferred font uh, for body and text. Uh, you can switch to a sans serif font like um, Arial in figures if you like, um, but Times New Roman is the preferred for the text. The next thing I want to do is change the line spacing. Um, as you can see when the cursor is highlighted, or the where you type in here, uh, you've got a bunch of space below the, the line. So you can change all this in the paragraph setting. Um, and I'm going to go here to the paragraph dialog box, and I want to set the spacing before is at zero, which is what I want. The spacing after is at 10 point. I want to take away that spacing after the font, the line. Okay, I also want to set my spacing to double spaced. Okay, double spaced with no space before and after the paragraph is the proper APA formatting for text. Okay, I hit OK, and now I've got double spaced. I come up here and check, yes, I am double spaced. The next thing I'm going to do is check my margins. Now, my margins happen to be correct here. They're one inch on all sides. Now, if I scroll down to the bottom of the page, yep, I'm at an inch down here. If you want to double check your margins or if you needed to change them, you'd go to Page Layout up here in the top ribbon. Margins are right here. And you would put Normal. If your um, default isn't one inch, uh, you can come down here to custom margins and you can just set top, bottom, left, and right all to one inch. Okay. The last thing I want to do to set up my my document is I want to set my headings. Um, so I'm going to set headings um, as a style that I can call upon so that I won't have to remember every time I want a new heading how to do it in APA style. Okay, so I'm going to set up five levels of text um, because there are five levels of headings in APA style. Okay, now level one headings are centered, center aligned, so I come up here and I center the text, and they are bold. Okay, so then Whenever I have a center level heading, a level one heading, I can set Word to remember what that's supposed to look like by coming up here to the styles. Okay. Now when I right click on styles, I'm going to update heading one to match selection. Okay. I already set this uh, level one here how I want my document to remember the uh, level one headers for APA style. Okay, so all I have to do is hit Upgrade Heading 1 to match selection. Now, anytime I have another center uh, heading, I could just highlight, for example, Level 4. I could just come up here and click this. I don't have to remember off the top of my head or have to go look up again. All right, do I put center headings in bold or underline or whatever they are? Okay, so that's Heading 1. Now, you notice when I did that, Heading 2 is also here. Okay, so Level 2 headings in APA style um, are also bold, but they are left aligned. Okay, so there's right over here. So I come up here and update that heading. Now level three headings in APA style are bold. So I'm going to bold that text again. Um, but they are indented half an inch. Okay, so in order to do that, there's a couple different options to do that. I can drag this little bar up here and I can move the top half an inch okay to show that it and so it shows me that it's indented half an inch okay if I'm not comfortable doing that I want it the other way also back here in this paragraph dialog box 
Okay, I can indent on the left and change that to 0 0.5 inches. Okay, now I set that as my update heading 3. Level 4 headings are also bold and they're also italic. Okay, and they're also indented half an inch. So I do all of those settings. I come up here, update heading 4. Okay, and finally, level 5 headings are italic but not bold, and they are also indented half an inch. Okay, and then if I scroll down to heading 5, update heading 5. Okay, now anytime I have text and I'm just heading, you know, I could come down here. Um, now notice it changed me back to Calibri and uh, size 12. Okay, so I need to change that again. Go back to 12. Go back to Times New Roman. And I'm actually going to change the um, spacing back to double space. Remove space after paragraphs. So now you've seen two different ways to do that. And now I'm going to go and right click here on normal. I'm going to update normal to match this selection so that in the future, if I tab down, if I'm working somewhere else and come back, I don't go back to that Calibri and size 12. Okay, now if I type something down here, later heading, and I realize I'm, or I'm going to set that as a, maybe I set that as a level 3 heading, it pops it over, it does everything I need it to do. Okay. Now be aware that you do have to check um, on the whether or not things are capitalized, every word is capitalized or not for your headings. So you have to remember that part. Okay, but if I find out I made a mistake and this level three heading should actually be a level two, again I can just highlight it and switch it back to level two. Okay? Now, if you want to make these permanent, if you don't want to have to change this every time you come into a Word file, um, you can make you can set the default for all word files um, by going to file and open and on the side you would have all kinds of things over here but if you come up to templates okay, you can uh, edit the normal template so if you open normal you can make all those same changes I just talked about and then save in this normal template and then every time you open Word um, the default it will use will be the the new normal template that you've cr created. This can be especially useful if you're a psych major um, because you'll be writing probably most of your papers in uh, APA style. Okay, uh, that's all I want to talk about for this tutorial and I hope you enjoy writing your papers.